channel, you're watching CTV. My name is Kalandra and I'm back with another video. And today I have a special guest. Hey. Her name's Nia. Oh, what's up, Nia? <laughs> we had uh, met at a photo shoot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we met at a photo shoot and we did a couple together before we really got to know each other. Yeah. And talking about how we're both military wives. I don't know how that came up in conversation. I didn't know how we got into that. <laughs> and realizing that we had a lot of common, like she's from Virginia, I'm from Virginia, I'm from the 804, she's from the 757, mm -hmm. the 757, and we lived in California, and then we also lived in another state that we're going to talk about today, Washington. <laughs> Washington State. Washington State, not Washington D.C., not Washington Street, mm -hmm. Washington <laughs> State. <laughs> Not Washington Street, because clearly y'all be somebody be telling her Washington Street, because she was like, people be saying Washington Street. But yeah, Washington DC. Washington. <laughs> no Washington DC, no Washington Street. Right. None, none of that. No Washington Lane, Washington State. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, we just gonna talk about our experience. So, you know, if you're gonna be offended by it, that's just our experience, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're not trying to bash the state, but I felt that's what I felt. It's my experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nothing more, nothing less. This is what happened to me. <laughs> right. Period. I don't really talk too much about my life. And I have never mentioned that with a military wife. I don't think I did, but I may have mentioned it once. And he's out now. Hey. <laughs> Woo! Y'all, she made it on the other side. <laughs> Literally, the other side. And your husband has a year left. information and then when we talked about every place that we lived in we kind of had the same similar point of view about this state mm -hmm. and I thought it was gonna be just something interesting to talk about since nobody really talks about Washington State like that so as a black woman and a black woman you know we should probably talk yeah. about it yeah and and <laughs> and, and, and <laughs> this as like a place to live you know what I'm saying? Just I wouldn't even like I, as a human. Not as a human. <laughs> I just wouldn't, you know, like especially not as a black woman. You know what I'm saying? I definitely wouldn't have chose to live there. Like, but it's crazy, like you said, like meeting another black woman that was living there, like have, feeling those same ways. It's like crazy because like I didn't really, I didn't know you. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know many other people, so I didn't know like if other people's experiences were the same as mine. Everybody's around me sucked. Yeah. We everybody felt mutual, you know, like oh my god, this sucks. Like, and I was like, okay, we all think it, like it's not just me being a Debbie Downer, you know. And then after hearing you and what you said about it, I was like, yeah, back. <laughs> and I thought that was true, but like, am I denial or it's just trash? But anyway, we don't get into it. Like we don't we don't talk about how we felt about it just because um, there's a lot of anger that I've been holding on about it and I just want to get it out. Technically, it release. What she said, she said, hit every point. point. So y'all, we got to hit every point on like how we felt because like, you don't get to talk about that stuff a lot, you know? And it's like, y'all about to hear about it on CTV. Exactly. <laughs> when you heard the news about the move, how did you hear about it and how did you feel about it? When I heard the news that we were moving to Washington, like, honestly, like, I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay. I was like, okay, this is going to be different, for sure. I was like, this is going to be different because California is beautiful, lovely every day, you know what I'm saying? No seasons. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, it's picture perfect. It really is. Like, being here, that's how I felt, you know what I'm saying? Living here and getting here from Virginia. But then I was like, okay, Washington, like, looking up or, like, asking people about it, like, they were like, oh, it's, it's cold. And I'm like, is Washington get cold? And my family was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay, like, but, you know, I was like, okay, it's going to be different, but it's going to be a good time. Because I thought we were going to be cuddled up all the time, like, yeah, like cozy. <laughs> yes! Like, I was like, oh, okay, we're going to have time to, like, bond. Because, okay. 
okay, her, your husband's on the same shit too. Mm -hmm. So you know how much they were gone in and out, in and out, in and out, all those fucking deployments, all those underways, you know what I'm saying? That sucked. So I, that sucked, like you know what I'm saying. We were living here alone, basically. A lot, a lot of the time, time. <laughs> we were we were alone. That's what that made nothing. <laughs> Y'all, this was crazy. And it was short duty, so I'm like, okay, it might be better. You know? Exactly. That's what I was like. Okay, it's short duty, so you know, coming off of all that deployment stuff, I was like, all right, cool. This is gonna be great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So when I first heard the news. I didn't know what to think. I was just like, okay, you know, like what you said, okay. Yeah. And it was gonna be different because you don't really hear people talk about Washington. Like they'll just talk about, oh yeah, it's really green. It's really, you know, it gets cold and rainy. I'm like, okay, I, you know, it's kind of like Virginia. Mm -hmm. And I thought of Twilight because yeah, they shot um, Twilight in Washington, mm -hmm. and I thought about Seattle. So I'm like, okay. We're going to be kind of close to the city, I think, at right. some point. Because Washington is not that big compared to California. So maybe everything might be a close facility if we're yeah. stationed there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be a little bit more urban. I don't know. By urban, I mean just more civilization, more stuff to do. Like, that's kind of what I thought. It was kind of be like San Diego in a way. But you did? A different you thought you like San Diego? In a way. <laughs> I didn't think so. I didn't think it was gonna be like San Diego, but I didn't think that it was gonna be the way that it was either. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I didn't think it was I just gonna be Seattle. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, I don't even know if I thought of Seattle. Like, <laughs> I I did. Like, I heard stuff about Seattle, but I wasn't like, oh, I just didn't really have like a good like. Oh, I think Washington's gonna be like this. I really just thought it was gonna be like cozy, like by the fireplace mm -hmm. at nighttime, baking cookies all day. Like that's what I thought it was gonna be like. And then when we were talking to my husband's parents about it, like, okay, we're gonna move to Washington. And we're just like, well, it's a lot different from California. They may not like it. And I was like, oh, damn. Well, it ain't no way now. <laughs> damn. <laughs> I don't wanna think about that. Right. So, like, I was working at a place where there was other military wives and stuff. Like, it was a bunch of other of us, right? Mm -hmm. And we would talk about it. And it was like one girl who couldn't wait to move there. And she talked about how pretty it is. I did hear that. I did hear people say that it was pretty. And then I was like, okay, cool. And they're like, yeah, do you like outdoors? And I was like, yeah. Like, and they're like, okay, like, there's stuff to do outside. And I was like, okay. But I think it's also Washington, like, from my experience and being there, like, I feel like it's one of those places, like, so I say, it's the most beautiful place I've ever lived in my life. You know, like, it really was. It's just, <laughs> I don't think that was worth it. Yeah, we well, get all the other experiences and everything that came with Washington State, I don't think. Not to live. I don't visit it. Yeah. Well, I was open to it. Like, I was really open to it until it was getting closer to time, to the time to move. Mm -hmm. And then I started looking stuff up mm -hmm. in the area. I was trying to research. Yeah, I was going to look it up. I was going to go to no state. Uh, Okay, where am I gonna go shopping at? Where am I gonna eat at? True, true. You know, etc. etc. Where am I gonna go, go grocery shopping at? I looked up that stuff, but I didn't look it up thinking like, oh, this is gonna suck. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't think that it was gonna be like how it was. Like, here you can go to six, seven different malls in 20, 30 minute spans, you know? And it's not the case. There's <laughs> Starbucks on every corner. Right. There's always a grocery store. Something's always open. Something's always open. And in Washington, I feel like nothing was like nowhere. Not in the area we lived. Yeah. Oh, Washington. So when I'm looking it up, it just looks like a lot of abandoned, old, old, like type buildings, like antique stores. Like I looked up a mall and it was something that came up like antique mall. Mm. It was like a bunch of other, like it was just, it just didn't give what it was supposed to give. Like I looked up food, I didn't see many food options. I'm like, okay. Then this is a time like me and Zach were kind of like arguing a lot because I was really getting upset. I didn't want to move this. Girl, Washington was dark <laughs> in every way. Like yeah, oh I think God. everybody was going through it in Washington. <laughs> I was pissed. Oh, I don't want to move. <laughs> So yeah, it was time to move, mm. and we drove. I don't know what y'all did. Yeah, we flew. I was not driving. So we had a 
they had to take the they had to take their ship like when they like official doesn't know so when he got on the ship i i How actually did they like, bring their cars on the ship we put our cars on the ship oh wait one on the ship yeah, yeah yeah i don't know why like it was some reason we couldn't get our stuff shipped i don't know if he didn't want to ship it mm-hmm. us well, i don't know if he wanted to get it shipped or not i don't even remember but we mm-hmm. drove yeah we put on the ship and then me and hector came yeah so we didn't get to see like how everything changes no we i drove through washington probably what was it like 2019, 2020, I drove through Washington and it was so beautiful. Like, it was so beautiful. Like, through Oregon, back to California. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah it was so beautiful. Like, summertime, like, oh my God, it was so beautiful. And to see how, like, it all changed and, like, it got really hot and then it would get cold and, like, something was, like, coming back into California. Yeah. But no, going there, we flew. Because I stayed too. I stayed for a month after. And then I went to Washington. Right. So I waited um, for my work. So yeah, I stayed back and then I left. And it was snowing. Snowing. Yeah, same thing for us. When we were on our way there, we went through California, like all through Northern California. And it's like a certain part where blackberries, I believe. And it's like mm-hmm. a mountain and it's just snowing on there. So that was like my first time yeah. ever really driving in the snow because me and Zach were like taking turns. And he drove through Oregon and Oregon was real like beautiful but weird <laughs> like it looked like nothing was there at some mm-hmm. point like and then we were on the Oregon Trail I think that's what it was called the Oregon, yeah. Oregon Trail yeah we were on the Oregon Trail and then we just saw like it looked like an Amish I'm not, <laughs> like it did it looked like it was like some Amish country or something because it was like nothing there but it was real pretty mm-hmm. and then when we had to stop and get gas Somebody had went up to our car trying to pump our gas, and he just like, okay, that's how they do it. And he wasn't even nice about it. He just kind of came up like, <laughs> like we were supposed to know. I'm like, yeah, we're gonna pump your gas. I'm like, okay, okay, I guess that's the law. That's what they do. Right, but if you yeah. don't know that, yeah, yeah, that threw me off guard. Yeah, for sure. Oh my gosh, yeah. And then driving through Oregon, like when we went through Portland and everything, it was raining like heavy. Motherfuckers That's was you should have known. That's what you should have known. Motherfuckers was speeding. <laughs> no, they like here where they be driving all scary in the rain. Yeah, so scary. Like, yeah, I used to rain. But no, the oil, the roads do be slick here though, y'all. So that like, is true. Because one time I was driving, I was like, what y'all driving? And it was like, see me? I was like, oh. <laughs> For real, that did happen. So I was like, okay, okay, okay. And you can't see. The roads do be slick here because it don't rain. I'd be like, damn. That is true. Like, I'm guessing like the material that they have in those roads. I don't know. I don't know. Called. What do you mean when the oil's coming from? Mm-hmm. Oh, I guess, yeah. It's something like that. <laughs> it's something. Some of these Californian <laughs> the streets. don't have or something. <laughs> the smog. <I> don't know. <laughs> we need to look it up. But it do be like, you know, because now I'm looking at the street. I'm like, dang, it's awesome. <laughs> Especially on a freeway, it's just scary as fuck driving here in the rain. Yeah. They're, they're afraid. Yeah. It's, the like, it's like ants panicking. <laughs> like ants panicking. <laughs> That's really what it's like. <laughs> and everybody's trying to go back to their holes. <laughs> here I am looking a mess, but I just wanted to describe it like this. You know how people could, or some people could drive too cautious to where it could be dangerous and cause an accident? That's how people drive in California in the rain. I just wanted to explain it like that. Oregon was just a little too comfortable for me. They just zoom, zoom. Had raining heavy like shit. I'm like, okay. So we passed Oregon. It was like nighttime, so it was just all dark and rainy. Mm-hmm. And then we got to Washington and it was just cold. Like that's all I remember. It was real gloomy and cold. So it took like about an hour to get from kind of like where the beginning of Washington is. Do you remember what that city is? I don't know. It's well, like one little town that you pass um, through Oregon. And it's like another town in Washington. I don't know, y'all. I just remember Weeds. It's the first <laughs> town you hit yeah, in California. Weeds. Yeah. Weeds is the first one that you hit. California got some weird 
Right. That's literally all you look on that. It's literally the first city. city. It's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's some little town that we passed through in Washington. So, we passed that town and then we ended up in Birmingham, <laughs> Washington. Oh my god.
And my husband was coming from San Diego. So I'm used to seeing yeah. more livelihood, you know, more places, more restaurants. Yeah. Even Virginia. Like, it was like kind of smaller than Virginia. Kind of. It was smaller than Virginia. <laughs> Period. It was. It was a lot of, like, green around. I'm like, okay, that's nice. But what, what else is there? Because Virginia has stuff to do. There was not stuff to do in Bremerton at all. There's nothing to do in... Like, even in Seattle, okay, Seattle, there's stuff to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? But we didn't live there. Like, you know? And that was my misconception, too. We were like, oh, you're right there by Seattle. Like, that's it's a I'm whole like, ferry away. Like, that's cute, going to the ferry. That was so much fun. But it's like, when you don't live, like, close to stuff, that one, one moment. I lived close to a little bar, and I lived close to a dispensary. Mm -hmm. And that was it. And then up the street, there was like a grocery store. So I mean, it wasn't horrible. Right, it's not what I'm like. You have options. You used to. It's not what I'm used to. Yeah. I still have no options. Like, I feel like I didn't have. Like, and we didn't, didn't have, like, the whole. But the Walmart we had, it wasn't like a full department store. It, it was like one of them half Walmarts, like they do have out here, too. It was like a lot of stuff ever in it. I never. I hated going in now. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't even remember the grocery store that was like real close. It was called, it was some international market. Mm -hmm. it and that was the other thing. There was no food. Mm -hmm. There was no food restaurants, y'all. Not like here. There was literally Taco Bell. Like the re the real deal just changed. Like, and they would have like, they, they did have like little like Mexican restaurants. So like we did eat at one restaurant that was, it was cute, but. It was actually pretty good too. I think it was good. Yeah, it was it's a couple they had, you know what I'm saying? So they did have the places, but it was just like you couldn't they didn't have enough places to where you could go to, I felt like a different one every single day if you wanted mm -hmm. to. Like no. I think I did cry the first day I moved there because I just instantly felt like damn I really left California to be here. You know, if I wanted to leave California, it wouldn't be here. And I'm dramatic. When it comes to certain things, I'm really dramatic. So you and yeah, I feel like you have every right to be dramatic. Yeah, your life. What, what do you mean? mean? What do you mean? Yes. I didn't cry my first day, but I cried a lot in last week. The second day though, I think I cried even more because that's when we decided to like look around because we had move, leave, or something like that. They gave mm -hmm. them some time. So we looked around, you know, we went to Silverdale. We went to Silverdale. I almost spit this out. We went to Silverdale. <laughs> Silverdale. And we went to the little mall. Because we were like, okay, what, what kind of shopping do they have? Like, do they have like malls? Like, what's going on? So we found that mall. And I'm like, okay, you know, it's kind of big. And then I went in. I'm like, where are the stores at? There was like a nothing. <laughs> there was like a nothing. They had random shit. Like, did they have had like a shoe department? So what is so basic? Like, what did they no, what did Coming they from where we come from now in California, like, it's... What did they have? What did they have? It didn't have nothing. I'm trying to tell I'm you. I'm trying to remember one clothing store. <laughs> I didn't shop in Washington. I did not get anything out of that mall, I don't think. Like, you know what I'm saying? I literally ordered all my stuff. I'm not happy, you guys. Like, We're not lying. Like, like she's so serious. <laughs> Like they have random stuff like sock stores and shit. And I feel like, I feel like when I be talking to people, they'll be like, she like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she just trying to act like the worst No! <laughs> it just really wasn't nothing, you know? Like, I'm trying to think too, like, dang. Maybe a JCPenney? Macy's something? I don't know. <laughs> it was for sure, it was for sure a phone store in there. <laughs> and then a couple of restaurants like the pot down. Yeah, but see, that's like random stuff. You know it's what I'm saying? It's random. What kind of mall was this? It did have like a JCPenney or it had like a really old, one of those old stores. Older than JCPenney's. What's an older store than that? Like they've been around a long time. Yeah, I don't even remember. Dang. Because I remember when I was like, oh my gosh, they got one of these. <laughs> I don't know y'all think it's old. 
Like what pissed me off about it is the fact that the mall itself was kind of like the one by my way. Mm-hmm. But I should yeah. say names, but have you been to the mall that's kind of by my way? Mm-hmm. And that's like one of the little small malls. Like that mall particularly, it's not like a, it's not like the biggest mall in San Diego. Mm-hmm. It was that size. Like it was as big as that mall that was right by me. Mm-hmm. And nothing in it. That's what I'm saying. Like, our mall was kind of cool. They did, they did. Because when you walk in, it's like, smell like food court. And that's why I was like, oh, it's this beautiful. Like, I feel like. It was just so weird. I'm sorry. So like, it was just so weird. A lot of random stuff, like a gaming store. <laughs> like, shit like that. It was a gaming store, yeah. And then, like, there was, like, a, that open space in the middle. Like, there was, like, nothing but, like, people playing around. It was weird. 